Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be using the padlock and key decals from Print by Example by Rachel Hanks along with Incandescent Shine's gel polish in Eternal Light. I'll also be using some flower foil along with a press Art Inks in number 25 and liquid gold gel paint from CJP along with the Snowdrop White gel paint. First of all, I'm going to be coming in with my first coat of internal, eternal light on all the nails, which will need curing for 60 seconds. Once they are cured, I will apply my second coat off camera and cure for 60 seconds. I'm now coming in with the A-Press Art Ink. I'll be applying it to over, over all the nails and then I'll be coming in with the blending fluid just to blur it out slightly. Once I'm happy with how the art inks are looking, I will now be applying the decals. Once I've chosen the ones I like to use, I will soak them on a cotton pad for 10 to 15 seconds. And while they are soaking, I will also apply a base coat to the nails which will have the decals on, so that the decals are easier for me to move around, which will need curing in a lamp for 60 seconds.
On this now, I will be drawing a circle with the white gel paint, which will be a background for some stamping that I'll be doing later on. Once I'm happy with how the circle is placed, I'll then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm now going to use Wow Bar Foil Gel, which will need curing in the lamp for 60 seconds, to act as an adhesive for my foil application. Now that it's cured in the lamp, I'm going to be applying my foil onto the nail. I will be using my finger to rub the foil in to make sure I have a full coverage. If there are any mis missing parts, I'll then reapply the foil gel, cure it and then apply the foil again. Once the circle has finished curing in the lamp, I'm going to be coming with a matte top coat as I find a matte surface easier to stamp on. This will also need curing in the lamp for 60 seconds. Once that is cured in the lamp, I'm going to be coming with my stamping. I'm going to be applying the stamping polish to the plate and scraping it with my scraper. Once I'm happy with that, I will lightly roll the stamper across it to pick up the image and position it onto the nail. I'm just going to use a little bit of acetone to remove the excess stamping. It did take off the um, art ink at the background because so I forgot to top coat that part. But it made a quite a nice effect as the brown had merged into it. So I quite like that effect, that's why I decided to keep that part on. When I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to be coming with a matte top coat as I'm going to be hand painting on top of this nail and I prefer to hand paint on a matte surface. This will also need curing in the lamp for 60 seconds. While that is curing in the lamp, I'm going to be coming in with golden rose gel paint from CJP just to create a border around these nails. Once I've done that and all the remaining nails, I'll then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds.
I'm back to this now now I'm going to be going in with the white gel paint from CJP which is snowdrops white and I'll be going back around to highlight the circle and I'll also be doing some line work in the background once I'm happy with all that I'll then be coming in with a necklace sort of design with a heart as I'll be applying some crystals onto that later on Once that is cured in the lamp, I'm going to be coming in my Venalisa Gem Gel and applying that onto the heart and then applying the crystals on top of that. Once I'm happy with the way they're positioned, I'll then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds.
Once that is cured in the lamp, I'm going to be coming in with incandescent shines, tack free top gloss. This will also need curing in the lamp for 60 seconds. I hope you've liked today's video. If you have, give it a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all soon. Stay safe. Bye.